Hello everyone, so I'm here again in my local woodland after two months of not being active on YouTube. I'm really so sorry about that. I will talk about the reasons behind that later in today's video. But I am here today, I'm trying to take my first. I'm really so, <laughs> I feel so sorry about saying that. I feel so sorry about myself. I feel fe re really bad about myself of saying that. Because of saying that, today I'm trying to take my first autumn photos in 2020 and it will be i think as i think it will be the last autumn uh, or the last chance of taking autumn photos because as you can see something like 90 percent of the trees are empty there's no yellow trees or there's no yellow leaves a lot of yellow leaves only some parts of this woodland um there's yeah still yellow trees last time i was here I think something like three months or four months ago there were no yellow color at all and i'm coming back here after three months and the end of the autumn so i will try to enjoy as much as i can without putting myself in any stress or yeah and try to make beautiful photo try to make some beautiful b-roll about autumn because as i think this is my first and last video about autumn in 2020. As I was walking right here, I just felt there's something. I can, maybe I can make nice photo here. My eyes told me <laughs> that there's something you can't take a photo of. Um, I will I will show you what I'm thinking about or what yeah makes me feel I want to take a photo here. So here is a scene I want to talk about. I will not include obviously I will not include the sky. What I'm thinking about only this small bath and the trees here are making like dips or leading lines. I don't. I don't want to include the sky. I will use my 50 millimeter lens, maybe my 50 millimeter lens. So the scene will be only this, this here, yellow colors and the trees. Maybe I will make it 16 by nine. So here's the first photo of the panorama. As you can see, I took more than I need to have more freedom in Photoshop to yeah, choose the composition that I want. This is the first one, the second one, this is the third one, the depth I was talking about, but as I said, I will maybe cut off the sky. Uh, this is the last photo. 90% I will try to use 16 by 9 and to remove the sky from the photo to have only the trees, the yellow color and this small path here. So the photo that I'm taking right now should be actually the first photo in today's video but because I didn't make any b-roll or I didn't make any intro you know to the video I didn't just want to start the video me taking the photo so that's why in the video it will be the second one it's all about this tree here the problem is that there's no mist at all and there's a lot of distraction behind the tree I tried to go a little bit low there but whenever I'm going low the the destruction started to show up more and more that's why i decided to stay here up a little bit and to take the photo of that tree but as i said there's a lot of destruction it, the tree itself is so beautiful but the problem is the background behind the tree there's trees and buildings not trees sorry there's a lot of streets and buildings and cars moving around and i can't i can't hide them i need a lot of mist to hide the background to hide the background but yeah unfortunately today there's no mist at all it's only cloudy and yeah i took the photo anyway and i hope you like it so this is the first photo So here is another photo I was thinking about. I was actually trying to use my imagination and, you know, 
I'm, I, I just felt uh, these two trees and the leaves here are making like these leaves, these yellow leaves, I mean, and these two trees are making like a small door or something like that. So I will try to take this photo and, but I will try to take it at f2.8 just to make the background a little bit out of focus and I will just be focusing on these two trees and the leaves here. So here is the photo, even after going to f2.8, I couldn't uh, have a very fast shutter speed. I wanted to have fast shutter speed because it's a little bit windy and the leaves are moving around and I don't want to have any, you know, blurry uh, leaves in the photo. So what I will try to do, I, I, I like it actually, I like it how the background is out of focus and because there's no fist, uh, fist <laughs> because I don't, I don't, I don't know how to speak because there's no mist and there's no fog and the background is totally clear and totally, totally distracting that's why the only way to yeah make it a little bit not distracting the main subject is to make it out of focus but yeah i like i like how it looks on the back screen of the camera i like the out of focus background so here is the sitting as you can see even after using f2.8 i am at one 25 of the second because I'm using CBL filter and at the same time it's cloudy and it's so dark so I will try to go something like one f-stop with the ISO to have faster shutter speed and to make sure the leaves are not moving at all in the photo So the thing that I want to tell you today, or um, the news that I want to tell you about me, about myself, and why I disappeared on YouTube, and I, I haven't uploaded any video for more than two, two months. I haven't ever made something like that since my, yeah, my first video. I was always trying to upload at least once, or, or once every two weeks, or sometimes once a week or sometimes twice a week that depends on yeah you know on the time i have i know i don't talk very much about my personal life but today i just want to to tell you why what was the reason of disappearing for two months i had to wait for the train to go away so the reason actually is that since 15 september something like more than two months or yeah something about two months i started a full-time job in amazon now, uh, maybe a lot of you don't know, as I said, I don't tell a lot about my personal life. I'm studying at the university and at the same time, I have a part-time job, not a full-time. And in that time with my university and part-time job, I could find time to go, to go out every day and to take photos. But as I started in Amazon, a full-time job, you know, every day, every day you have to go out. I mean, if I want to talk about the whole time going there being there and going back home every day i have to be out 11 hours sometimes on saturdays also but i mean when you have to go out every day every day for 11 hours it's really not possible to do anything in the rest of your day especially if you have a family like me two kids and you 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 have to find time for your family in your day during your day or i mean at after doing your work your full-time work you have to spend the rest of your day with your family i am not single i don't my time is not for me actually i would say that my time is not it's not for me like being single i have my family i have to take care about my kids and yeah finding time to go out it's really so started to be so hard since two months i have a lot of saturdays off but even like that i have to spend you know I have to spend the weekend with my family also. Today is Sunday. Yesterday I have off. I have, you know, a day with my kids, with my family. And now I decided today, I decided to go out. The weather forecast did tell me two days ago that I it will be uh, raining today. That's why I decided to go out. You know, rain and autumn is so fantastic combination, but mm, it's not raining. Maybe it will be raining right now, but until today, until now it's not raining. So I just wanted to tell you about the reason behind not being able to make a lot of YouTube videos. 
Now I'm not sure if the situation will be like that. I, I'm not sure how much I will do my full-time job. I didn't leave my university. I'm still in my university, but I change it like part-time, you know, part-time university and full-time job. Yeah, that's, that's, I just wanted to tell you the reason. I will not leave YouTube. I'm not telling you that because I want to leave YouTube. I will not do that. Obviously, this is my passion. I love photography for more than 10 years. Whatever happened, I was always trying to take photos. I was always trying to find time to take photos. So it started to be a little bit dark. As you know, the daytime in winter is so small and it started to be dark. I have to put my camera back in my bag and going home. Thanks a lot for all the new subscribers since my last video till today. Uh, thanks a lot for anyone who will be subscribing in the future. Your support is really so much appreciated and I could do nothing without your support. So thank you very much for watching this video. Please consider subscribing if you are not already and see you in the next video. Bye.